Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over concentration ratios, which I went over in class the other day. Remember that concentration ratios are simply uh, summing the market shares of the top so many firms in an industry. And we usually have two varieties, uh, the CR4 and the CR8. And that just stands for the concentration ratio of the top four or concentration ratio of the top eight firms. They're separate problems usually. And normally they're the only two that are asked. Okay. Now, mathematically, it looks complicated, but it's not. It's the summation of the market shares of the firms from the first firm to the nth firm. And N is going to be uh, determined in a CR level. N is going to be either 4 or 8. So that's basically just saying that we're going to s simply sum up the market shares from the first firm to the eighth firm. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of how we mathematically uh, uh, look at it. But let me just go over here to the other board and show us an example of, uh, of what we're talking about. So first of all, uh, I described in class the other day, how do we figure out the market share? The market share is how much of the industry the company owns or company controls. So the MSI here, over here, we're going to say the MSI. I is just a subscript for each firm, so don't worry about the I. So the market share of any one given firm is going to be the revenue of the firm divided by the total revenue of the industry. Okay. Now that's going to give you a decimal. Okay, the only time it would not give you a decimal is if it's a monopoly, the revenues of the firm would equal the revenues of the industry. We're not going to study that. So imagine that we have a revenue of a million dollars for a firm in a $10 million industry. One million over 10 million is 0.1. Now, here are my asterisks. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you're not one of my students, definitely check with your, your professor. I'm just telling my students what I prefer. Um, my note down here is that we're going to use a percentage term when we describe the market share. But when we do our calculations for CR4, CR8, and Herfindahl's or whatever, we're going to use whole numbers. So, for example, if this MSI uh, came out to 0.17, we normally would say, well, they own 17% of the market. What I'm saying is when we do our CR4 levels, use 17, the whole number. Okay? So we're going to have our CR levels between 0 and 100. Other professors may say use 0.17, and then the answer will be between 0 and 1. It's the same answer. It's the same thing, but I prefer whole numbers. Okay, here's an example of a, a, a hypothetical industry uh, where we have market shares. So one, two, three, and four are just the, the firms, the, the top four firms in the industry. One has 41%, the second firm has 21%, 9%, and 6%. If we were to say what the CR4 level is, you simply sum these four numbers and it would come out to uh, 77. So we would say the CR4 of this industry is 77. If I asked you for a CR8 and there were eight firms listed, you would simply just sum up the firms five through eight, uh, and it's it's literally that simple. And I described the other day that we really don't love to use the CR levels because we can have two different industries which are very different from each other, but which have the same uh, CR4 levels. So we like to use the Herfindahl measure so that we can pick up the variance in competitive effects within an industry, and I'll have a separate video with the calculation of the Herfindahl.